Is it too late to get into cybersecurity? For those of you currently trying to get into cybersecurity, this may be a question that you're asking yourself, especially when it comes to a lot of news about the tech job market and the overall job prospects for cybersecurity in general. And I'm going to answer this question with evidence-backed answers, along with the assumptions behind whether or not it's too late to get into cybersecurity. But the short answer is no, it is not too late to get into cybersecurity, and this video is going to be answering why. But the first statistic I want to point at is the fact that global cyber attacks continue to rise in 2024 with an average of more than 1,600 cyber attacks per week per organization in the second quarter of 2024. This is a 30% year over year increase in the number of cyber attacks globally. And with the rise of cyber attacks, the rise of the cost of cyber attacks also increases. Cyber crime and cyber attack losses rose to a record high of $12.5 billion in 2023. And that's expected to rise even higher in 2024 with an estimated cost of $13.82 trillion in 2024. Trillion dollars. Loss to cyber crimes, cyber attacks, cyber breaches. If companies even invested just 1% of that money into protecting their organizations when it comes to cybersecurity personnel, cybersecurity technology, any detection and prevention tools, this across the board can literally save companies trillions and trillions of dollars every year. If you're looking at the cybersecurity industry from a high level, you'll see that cyber attacks are not only increasing, but the cost of them are increasing across the board. This has continued to increase year over year, and companies are only hurting themselves by not investing enough in their cybersecurity talent and cybersecurity tools and technologies. So no, I do not think that it is too late to get into cybersecurity, especially when you're looking at these numbers for organizations that are literally losing money because there aren't enough cybersecurity professionals to keep their data and their organization secure. Just think about all these cybersecurity breaches, the ransomware attacks, the DDoS attacks that you've heard of, even on a weekly, daily basis. If you're keeping up with cybersecurity news, new exploits, new data breaches, new companies that are being targeted for their organizational data, their customers' data, this happens on a daily basis and it's not slowing down anytime soon, especially with more sophisticated and advanced attacks from nation states and other APTs and cybercrime groups. Just based on statistics, cybersecurity jobs are rising. So yes, in the past few years, the tech job market in general has been very volatile, especially with big tech layoffs, but I expect this to pick up in the next year, especially with the rise of new technologies and more advanced threat actors. And let me tell you right now that AI tools are not enough to defend against actual threat actors, at least for right now and for the foreseeable future. AI tools cannot replace a red teamer. AI tools cannot replace an SOC analyst. You're going to need a person who is actually managing a security breach, managing a security incident. You're going to need someone to conduct the actual pen test, conduct the red team assessment. We're currently not at a place where AI is advanced enough to replace a cybersecurity professional. I would love to hear you guys' thoughts on this in the comments. I've seen so many different posts and articles on various different news sources and websites, even on LinkedIn, that AI is going to replace all cybersecurity professionals. And while yes, I agree that AI will replace certain functions of a cybersecurity professional's job, which is probably already the mundane, boring parts of the job that you would want AI to take over anyway, because there are definitely parts of the job that can be automated and done by AI, but there are also other parts of the job that cannot be replaced by AI, at least with current capabilities. And not to mention the initiative by the White House that is promoting skill-based hiring in cybersecurity over traditional educational backgrounds, which means it's going to get a lot easier for cybersecurity professionals who may not have any formal training to still get into those cybersecurity jobs because they have certain skills on their resume, certain projects on their resume, and are overall able to show that they have what it takes to do the job, even if you don't have certain credentials. And I'll also be sharing ways to help you stand out in the job market. And if you're looking to start a career in cybersecurity, I highly recommend checking out the beginner-friendly 100% online springboard cybersecurity bootcamp. I've partnered with them in the past, but unlike other promotions where the discount code gives you $1,000 off, they're currently offering an additional $1,000 discount, which means you'll get $2,000 off your entire tuition using my code SANDRA2000 from now until December 3rd, specifically for the cybersecurity bootcamp. In the bootcamp, you'll learn foundational cybersecurity concepts that you'll need to find an entry-level job, get one-on-one -on -one career coaching and mentorship, and even graduate CompTIA Security Plus certified. It's part-time and project-based, which means you'll also be getting relevant, hands-on experience that you can add onto your resume to help you stand out. Plus, they have a get a job or get your money back guarantee, which means if you qualify, you can get 100% of your tuition refunded if you don't get a job within the guarantee period after graduating from the bootcamp. And not to mention, 85.6% of job qualified individuals who reported an offer received it within 12 months of graduating. You can check out the Springboard Cybersecurity Bootcamp and get $2,000 off the entire bootcamp from now only until December 3rd. 
You can learn more and see if you qualify for their job guarantee using code Sandra2000 through the link in my description. Thank you to Springboard for sponsoring today's video. And now let's get back to the rest of the topics. Okay, so now that we've covered why cybersecurity jobs aren't going anywhere, at least in the foreseeable future, whether it be a volatile job market or AI taking over people's jobs, which again is not going to happen with the level of technology that we're currently at. Another reason why this is a better time to get into cybersecurity is the fact that there's so many different cybersecurity certification options and courses and free resources that you can find online. Back when I was starting out in cybersecurity, which was in 2019, about five years ago, the most you could find were a few very limited online learning resources. I was using YouTube a lot for most of my learning, or I was learning directly from textbooks, which I know isn't everyone's favorite way to learn, especially out of college. So basically the learning options were very, very limited. But nowadays there are so many different online learning platforms. A lot of them offer free hands-on courses, and there are even so many different job simulation trainings out there that you can do for free. I've shared a lot of these resources on my LinkedIn, so feel free to follow me on there if you're looking for more learning resources because I do share those on a more regular basis. But free job simulation training for cybersecurity is not something you would have thought would have existed back five years ago. But nowadays, learning is a lot more democratized, and even on YouTube, you can find training that's three, four, eight hours long, giving you a complete breakdown of cybersecurity concepts, cybersecurity foundations. And that is something that just didn't exist five, 10 years ago. So I definitely recommend taking advantage of all the resources that you can online, all the new certifications. I know the CompTIA Security Plus is a very popular certification for beginners, but there are other options out there. And there are also a lot of older certifications that are actually getting phased out for newer certifications by new learning organizations. And if you want me to make a video on the cybersecurity certifications that are phasing out versus the new ones that are up and coming, let me know and I can make that video. I do think it would be very interesting. I don't think I've seen a video like that yet, but I do have a past video I recently made on the worst certifications to get for cybersecurity beginners. So I will link that down in my description if you're interested in checking that one out. But essentially there are way more certification options, way more online courses, way more free resources that you can use now more than ever compared to back then. Even if you didn't know where to start on learning cybersecurity, you have so many different options available for you and you can choose the one that clicks and the one that makes sense for you. Another topic I want to touch on is career longevity and the growth potential of working in cybersecurity. So if you really think about it, cybersecurity careers have not been around for that long. Even back in the dot-com boom and the rise of the internet and having a website in the early 2000s, most websites were not really worried about getting hacked and most websites were not secure. But nowadays, about 25-ish years later, if you think about it, companies have only been putting in budget into their cybersecurity teams in the last 10, 15, 20 years. And a lot of this is because of the fact that cybersecurity is technically not a money-making area. This is something I learned from both of the companies I worked in. I worked in a big finance company and I worked in a small tech company. And in both of these companies and in all cybersecurity teams that you will be working in in the future, cybersecurity isn't a team that makes money for the company, but rather it is a team that hopefully will save money for the company, reduce risk for the company, protect the company's reputation from getting hacked, having security breaches, being able to protect their customers' data, etc. So there are a lot of different ways that the cybersecurity team benefits a company without ever having to generate an income. And that is why many times, even during tech layoffs, you'll see that only a very small percentage of layoffs actually affect cybersecurity personnel directly. Imagine you're a tech company, a finance company, a healthcare company, any kind of organization that is having a layoff, if you lay off 10, 20% of your cybersecurity team, guess what's going to happen next? You're likely going to be targeted by different hacking groups, by different cyber criminals, by potentially nation states or APTs, which is another reason why job security is good for cybersecurity. And yes, while it can be hard to get into cybersecurity as a beginner because you need to prove that you have the skill sets and the technical knowledge that hiring managers are looking for, there's also a lower chance of you getting laid off as a cybersecurity professional compared to other tech employees and other job sectors in general. This means you have career longevity, this means you have growth potential, and even the ability to pivot into different areas in cybersecurity that may need more personnel or your company may Maybe pivoting into. For example, if your company was primarily data center focused and now they're moving to the cloud, well, that means that they're probably going to need an SME or a subject matter expert to protect the new cloud environment. And if that was an area that you always wanted to go into, then you could take some courses or certifications for cloud security for any of the big cloud platforms, Azure, AWS, 
Google Cloud Platform and be able to pivot into that role. And because cybersecurity is always changing, you're always going to see different opportunity areas like this to be able to have what you need to keep growing in your career and increase your salary and increase your skill set. This is one of the biggest reasons why I recommend cybersecurity as a career because there are so many different areas that you can focus on. If you worked in Blue Team for five years, you can easily bring those skills to GRC, to Red Team, to Digital Forensics, to any other area in cybersecurity that you may be interested in, to malware analysis, and to mention that any experience that you've had in the past is good experience when you're in cybersecurity. I've had previous coworkers who came from non-technical backgrounds and thrive in cybersecurity because they had backgrounds in teaching, in criminal justice, in psychology, in journalism, all these areas that don't seem cybersecurity related at all can be leveraged, whether it's your documentation skills, whether it be your understanding of the human psyche and for phishing attacks or social engineering, or even just your ability to teach people or manage security incidents. All right, so that is it for this video. I hope this was helpful and gave you some insights and even action items. If you're currently trying to break into cybersecurity, let me know if you have any other questions in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer them. Or if you have any other video topics that you would like to see from me in the future, I will add them to my backlog. If this video was helpful, please consider liking and subscribing as it really does help out the channel. Don't forget to stay connected on LinkedIn and join our Discord channel. It is free and that is where I share a lot of free resources where I stay connected with the community. Thank you guys again so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!